If you happen to be part of a multi-level marketing insurance organization, you might want to plug your ears because I'm about to say something really messed up. And in my opinion, these are actually facts. Okay. Are you ready? Well, here it comes. Most insurance agency managers and recruiters are manipulative liars that will tell you anything that they think you need to hear so that they can recruit you. They are that freaking desperate. The worst part is that in most cases with most of these big agencies, not even 10% of their agents end up being successful. I'm Doug Massey. And before I start digging deep and get into this disgusting plague that I believe is overwhelming the life insurance industry, if you'll stick around until the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to get a copy of the free new agent telesales file that has sales materials and scripts that you're absolutely going to want to use if you decide to sell final expense and or life insurance products remotely. And yes, this is the perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And we do recommend you subscribe if you're a new viewer. We're putting out new insurance sales content and final expense sales training videos like every week. I recently brought on a newly licensed agent who was being recruited by another agency. There were a couple of things about his situation that were kind of unique as to why the agency that he was looking at really did not make any sense at all for him. The thing is that same organization had already released at least one agent to us in that same state. We're going to get to that. And the agent is currently selling final expense remotely with our calendar appointment, final expense sales platform. Point is I already know exactly what these guys are doing and how their system works. Basically they specialize in selling final expense on a face to face basis using mainly direct mail leads. Here's where the fail happened. The guy, the agent lives in a state that is really hard to generate direct mail leads, which is the exact type of lead that those guys are pushing onto their face to face agents. And not only that, but that state <laughs> is here's the thing. It has the highest failure percentage. Let me just say that again. Of all the states that are out there, there's a few of them that are just terrible, terrible to work in. And this is one of those states. So if you were to call me as an agent and say, Hey Doug, I live in this state. Okay. It's Georgia there. I said it. I live in this state and I want to sell final expense face to face. I would tell you that I can't work with you because you're most likely going to fail. And that's just not how we do things. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Now, hold, let me back up guys. If you're already established, that's different, but a new agent in some of these states like Georgia, it ain't going to work. The manager, the recruiter guy actually told him the new agent, catch this, that they didn't really have fresh exclusive direct mail leads there or in those, his local areas or even surrounding areas, but he could work some free internet leads or could even try selling over the phone if he wanted to. So you got this state that is totally saturated with agents and the chances of this guy succeeding are like ridiculously minuscule. Meanwhile, the agency has zero telesales platform and actually suggested that he use probably the worst lead in the industry for remote sales because you know, that's what they've got available. All right. You know, they're pushing what they've got. Meanwhile, now here's the kicker. They were really fighting for this agent. I mean, the owner of the company actually called the agent to try to lock him in. Meanwhile, they knew he was most likely going to fail. I mean, what the heck? Really guys, what is wrong with some of these people? And even worse, we know each other, you know, they know exactly who I am and what we do over here. And even though they know that we have a platform specifically designed for remote final expense sales, where a large percentage of agents are just crushing it. And instead of doing the right thing, they did everything possible which inadvertently most likely would have basically ruined this agent's career before it even started. So you got all these multi-level marketing insurance agencies out there and they all go by like three initials. The big one does with the F or four initials. In most cases, they recruit agents who don't know better and end up starting these agents with commission levels that are basically unethically low. Not all of them, but, but, but some of them do. Then when things don't work out for the agent, 
and the agent needs to go to a different organization to feed his family, they will not release the agent. Or in many cases, they won't even return the agent's phone call. Here's another one for you. About 12 years ago, check this out, the true story. I was called by a recruiter slash agency owner, cold called. This lady was so desperate that she was just calling a list of agents. Hey, nothing wrong with that. She worked hard in order to build her agency. She offered me an 80% contract with a 100% maximum cap that I could earn one day if I sent her enough life insurance business. So she's using the old carrot on a stick to try to lure me in. Meanwhile, during the conversation, she told me the most blatant lie that I had ever heard from a recruiter. She told me that her leads and system was so strong that all of her agents were making at least $100,000 per year. So here she was using the exact same direct mail leads that we were all using back then. Okay, everybody selling final expense back then was using only she was offering like a, I want to say 20 to 30% lower commission level. And even though, let me just say this, agencies like hers have at least a 90% failure rate. All of her agents were making at least $100,000 per year. I remember feeling insulted. I called her on it and I think I said something pretty nasty before just hanging up on her. Now try to understand, I had already had my own personal experience with a different what I like to refer to as scumbag multi-level marketing organization. I'm not going to name them, but it was one of the first ones way back then with the three initials that starts with an N and ends with an A. I had actually called this three letter MLM company because they advertised that they had leads for mortgage protection sales in my area. The manager that I was under told me that I would have exclusive leads and that they could get me more leads than I could ever work. So three months into working under this guy with this, 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 this company, they literally gave me one exclusive lead along with hundreds of leads that were so old that it would have been illegal to just call them. They didn't teach me. I did not know this back then because I was calling them and I found out later. They didn't teach me that I needed to scrub those leads against the do not call list. They didn't warn me that I could get sued by calling those leads. The attitude was somebody filled out the lead card and even though it was shared with multiple agents, the leads were all good. They're all laydowns. You just got to call them and sell. Here's the bottom line. There are some really bad agency managers and recruiters out there. And in my opinion, most of the people whose job is to recruit insurance agents are people who have strayed to the dark side, so to speak. Do your due diligence. Does the upline, the actual manager, not just the company, the actual manager that you're thinking about working under, working with, do they have testimonials of successful insurance agents that they can share with you or that are on their website? Do they have a platform where they can literally guarantee that you can make six to 10 presentations every single day? If not, you need to keep looking guys. For a copy of the new agent telesales file that I mentioned, you know, back at the beginning of the video, just email me at Doug at UFESonline.com for more information on our remote final expense sales platform where you can get 20 to 30 appointments per day of people that are expecting you to call them about getting a quote for affordable burial life insurance. Just shoot me an email at that same address. Remember, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get up off that couch and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.